Dozens of complaints are reported to have been lodged by parents and guardians at the Ministry of Education against heads of senior high schools for allegedly charging unauthorized fees. In response to the development, the Ministry of Education says the unnecessary, I mean, the necessary measures would be put in place to tackle the problem. And already a secretariat has been put in place to receive complaints on the charging of illegal fees, grievances and criticisms from the public for action to be taken. Mr. Alex Treme, uh, the Deputy Minister in charge of pre-tertiary education, earlier spoke with my colleague Ufurua Dakon. On 14th um, October, we all agreed and Director General of Education then issued a letter to all the regional directors of education for almost transmission to digital municipal metropolitan directors of education to the heads of uh, senior high schools mandating all school heads to charge the approved fees and the uh, approved fees as you have already um, as we have already indicated and we gave you an advert which was screened on all the major uh, television stations across the country and then the major uh, radio stations the first year students are to be charged uh, 437 for borders and 230 uh, ghana cities for this student for the first year we realized that um uh, people uh, heads were not uh, charging uh, these approved fees and the national committee was put in place visited so many regions okay. and then just after we put the address on uh, the major platforms we started uh, having complaints from all over uh, through our uh, phones ministers were uh, receiving calls from all over the country and then at the, the management meeting we all agreed among ourselves that we need to put in place a complaint unit whereby um, the good people of ghana could um, equally place their complaints there and so far we've been able to receive about 300 complaints from across the country then why do these heads charge illegal fees i think they can best explain um and it's a, it's a form of um, extortion mm -hmm. and um I, I they can best explain why they are flouting and uh, the, the 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 orders of the ghana education service the ministry is calling for the setting up of a task force in the regions to deal with the issue. In addition to other grievances and complaints, how effective has this measure um, been? Yes, um, last year after the, the national uh, task force went round, we met many heads and they agreed that um, they were going to credit the affected students because they uh, they collect they started collecting and uh, deposit from students because of the long delay of the uh, approved fees so they said they collected a deposit from the students so we asked them to credit the various accounts of the student when a uh, school reopened this at uh, this term we have information all over the country that some have had already complied or these simple orders and some are also flouting uh, these orders with impunity and that is why there is the need to set up another uh, task force to go around the country to find out whether they are still charging the unapproved fees what we are going to do is that um, we are bringing all the regional directors together uh, at a meeting and then we invite the the chairman of the uh, GS council and some members and then we uh, deliberate on this issue and then we ask them to put together a team to go around every school every senior high school in the country to find out whether they are charging their proofies or they are charging on their proofies